As gas prices soar, small businesses that rely on fuel are spending hundreds of dollars more every week. It's with the help of the National Federation of Independent Business. News 10's Blake Dollier tells us how they're asking the state of Indiana for help. Small businesses in Indiana are calling on Governor Eric Holcomb to suspend the gas tax here at the pump. But economists are saying that doing that may be just a temporary solution. It's been a hectic time for Stephen Cole, his wife, and daughter operating their small business value vending. They deliver different vending machine products across central and southern Indiana. They rely heavily on fuel, which they say has cost them over $200 more each week. He says whether it's fuel prices or inflation, it's been one thing after another. And that's huge for us. We're trying to just get things rolling. You know, things are starting to roll. And then, you know, then the inflation went nuts. Now the fuel went nuts and we're spinning our wheels. Cole and other National Federation of Independent Business members are calling for Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb to suspend the state's gas tax. It's 32 cents per gallon, according to St. Mary of the Woods business faculty member Frank Whittle. He says suspending the gas tax is a double-edged sword. The benefit to small businesses and individual consumers means more money that they could use for expenses and other costs. Uh, which is a, is a major pro. But Whittle's warning is that it's a short-term solution that could cut into money that goes to fixing the roads. He says it's important to find a middle ground to support small businesses and keep the state's financial surplus. If I was the governor, I think what I would look at is maybe suspending the gas tax for three months. And that gives you three months to work with the legislators and, and work on uh, some longer term solutions. Cole says as much money as small businesses pay in taxes, he feels it's only fair to get some of that money back at a time where they need it most. I always say I don't want a freebie. I want what's, you know, th that's money that we've put in. And it sure would be nice to have some relief on that. Coming up at six, I'll tell you how Cole and his company are holding up here at the pump. Reporting in Terre Haute, Blake Dollier, News 10.